Hi, I'm Chad Boninger, business librarian for Ohio University Libraries. I have several hundred business students who are currently researching the leisure, travel, and tourism industry. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Passport, which is an essential tool to understand both the domestic, the U.S., as well as the international travel and tourism markets. If you're not one of my business students, check with your local library for access for this database. Let's get into it. To access Passport, you can find it linked on my Leisure Travel and Tourism Industry Guide or in various other guides throughout my site. If you're not affiliated with Ohio University, check with your local library for access. Now, there are various ways to use Passport, and I find for this particular project, I'm going to actually go up here to the top right-hand corner and click Search All Categories. Under Categories there, I'm going to choose Industries and then click Go. The reason I like this search is because it gives you a hierarchical display of all of the top industry categories and the subcategories of the, in, of the industries as well. So if we scroll down, we see there's a travel section under services. Clicking on the plus sign gives you the travel industry as well as all of the various subsectors below that. What you can do now is go through and select which ones you want, and if you want everything underneath the category and all subcategories, you just click on the box over here on the right-hand side, and that will get you everything available underneath the particular parent category. So these are automatically checked here. Once you're satisfied with your selection, scroll all the way down the bottom and click the next button in the bottom right-hand corner. This will take you to the geography page where you can select either a region or a country to find analysis and statistics about the industries. Passport not only covers the USA, but all kinds of different international markets and countries. It's a great place to do your international research for the industry. Once you've selected your country that you need or your countries, simply click search. The search results page displays both statistics and analysis. If you're just getting started, I'd suggest you look at the analysis first and then come back later and look at the statistics. So this gives you a good example of the types of reports you find in Passport. Here we find information about online travel and intermediaries in the U.S., tourism flows in the U.S., lodging in the U.S., travel in the U.S. And these will all be fantastic reports to look at as we're researching the travel and tourism industry for this particular country. Again, if you're looking at other countries, you can go back and change geographies to look at international and global perspectives of the industry. There's another way to find similar content for the travel and tourism industry in Passport. From the Passport homepage, go up under the Industries tab there and click on Industries, and then click on Services on the right-hand side, and then click on Travel. This will open the travel homepage where you can find additional information uh, that's for the industry. You might want to consider looking at the dashboards, which will give you a visual representation of the kind of information that you're looking for for statistics uh, for the, the global market. The way this works is you can go in and change the category to whatever you're looking for. So we'll change the category to something maybe uh, online travel sales as an example, and then click go. And this gives you a visual representation across the planet of the market size for online travel sales. If you find a country you're interested in, you can click on it. And then scroll down to click on Explore in Detail to find additional information about that particular country and the industry in that country. I hope my video gave you some good guidance on how you can use Passport to understand the leisure, travel, and tourism industry. If you need more help, check out some more of my YouTube videos or check out my business guides. Take care and good luck with your research.